Storytelling with Sherry. The Golden Christmas Tree by Jan Wahl, first published in 1988. A wonderful classic Christmas tale, beautifully illustrated by Leonard Weisgard. Find out how the animals in the forest celebrate their Christmas. At the end of the story, we'll be having a festive quiz that's related to the story. The Golden Christmas Tree All was hushed in the forest for the animal's Christmas. The elephant brought a great fir tree from far away. A red cardinal flew through the trees, carrying the news. The fir is here! The fir is here! The llamas and the goats, who were slow of thinking, thought, We already have our fur! The wolf helped the red deer, whose antlers caught on low-hanging branches. Silently, they walked together, joined by the badger and a family of foxes, guided by bats, who whistled soft carols. Skrills whispered stories of the time the first Christmas came, announced by a ringing like clear crystal bells. Now, as it happened before, the lion lay down with the lamb. <sighs> the animals gathered, one by one. There was no growling, howling, meowling anywhere. It was hushed in the forest. Hushed, 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 hushed. The kangaroos picked cones and leaves to hang on the branches. The tiger strung berries. The antelope chewed the grass, making a smooth lawn for the fur. The baboons painted pine cones carefully. The monkeys put the ornaments on and the giraffe laid at the top a star. Then the tree was ready. The animals gathered in the silvery moonlight. The raccoon lit the lights. Darkness fell, but no one moved. Now, up in the sky, there appeared a great constellation of bright, shiny stars. The bear said he was sure it was a large and little bear. The tiger was sure it was a large and little tiger. Then a delicate golden glitter flashed and each in that moment made his quiet wish. <sighs> the cardinal's brothers and sisters dropped walnuts and apricots, chestnuts and plums with a rustle of whirring wings. The beautiful fur stood flickering all night and they danced they danced they danced until it was light of morning the end and now it's nearly time for the fun festive quiz <laughs> I'd just let you know, if you would like to purchase this wonderful book, just check the description below for buying options. Ho ho ho, like and subscribe, baby! Get ready for some questions. Let's talk! <coughs> Pause the video after I've asked the questions when you need more time. What type of tree did the elephant bring to the forest?
from far away. The elephant brought a fir tree from far, far away. Can you spell the difference between a fir tree and the fur of an animal? F I R F U R What sound was announced as the squirrels whispered stories of the first Christmas? It was a ringing like clear crystal bells. What natural items did the animals use to make decorations for the fir tree? The kangaroos picked cones and leaves to hang on the branches. The tiger strung berries. The baboons painted pine cones carefully. Why did the bear think that the shiny stars in the sky were a large and little bear? And why did the tiger think that the stars were a large and little tiger? Because with some imagination, people see pictures in the stars. We call them constellations. Two of the constellations are known as the Great Bear or the Big Bear and the Little Bear. So I think the tiger was mistaken. As far as I know, there is no large and little tiger constellation in our sky. There is, however, a white tiger and that's a Chinese constellation. What did all the animals do after they made their quiet wish? <clears throat> they danced and they danced and they danced and they danced until it was the light of morning. What type of bird was this? It was a red cardinal. You're so good! Well done! With your friends you can talk about what other cultures do during December. What plans do you have for the festive season? Thank you so much for watching. Make sure you enjoy yourself. See you in the next video.